on the 8th you asked hey Ryan what brand names do you use in the SR internals should I rebuild my SR before I drop it in the 240 I personally use the Brian Crower performance parts in all of my engines and engine builds um, he has some quality stuff and um, if stuff lasts I thrash my uh, motors and they and they work all really well I would definitely suggest rebuilding your engine before you drop it in it's kind of a nice peace of mind that you, you start with something fresh and then you kind of know how much time is on it rather than just tossing it in there waiting for you know, as a ticking time bomb waiting for it to uh, explode at some point. So I would definitely suggest that. To YouTube user Ross the Boss 707 you asked, so when are you gonna turn the Crown Vic into a drift car? I mean, it's it's already rear wheel drive and it has Armco down the side of it. I, and you can catch a couple clips of the thing doing donuts in the uh, latest episode slide ride. So I'm um, just gonna say it's already a drift car. And when it rains out, it's gonna be a hell of a lot more fun. Alright, to YouTube user Joquin Petit, you asked, Ryan, what engine do you use in your 240SX and what tires do you use? By the way, amazing show. Thank you for the comment and question. Um, I, I have two different 240s. I have the Missile Car, which runs an SR20 engine with all Brian Crower internals. And then I have my nicer uh, 240 with the 1JZ engine that you can uh, catch in off-seasons and off-seasons too. And that has uh, Brian Crower internals as well. And uh, a lot, I think... Yeah, I don't know, that thing's a lot of fun to drive. Uh, the tires that I use are the Maxxis MAZ1 drift tires, which uh, you can purchase uh, any Maxxis dealer. And uh, they, they have a ton of tread wear, which is really cool for drifting because the tires last pretty much longer than any other tire I've, I've ever drifted on, as well as um, they, they burn all the way down to the cords and they never delaminate and you never get a, de a defective tire from them. user Ren Messinger you asked Ryan do you use an angle kit on your missile car by the way your show is awesome I look forward to it every week thank you for the comment I do not really use much of an angle kit I just have the tie rod inner spacers for actually on both of my cars I have knuckles for them but I just haven't um, had enough time to really install the, uh, the modified knuckle kit so right now just tie rod inner spacers for angle and um, it's still it's still enough angle to have a ton of fun and, and go enjoy your cars so you, only, you don't always need to throw the car in backwards to enjoy drifting. Alright, that wraps it up for this week's GoPro Burnout Response episode. Thank you everybody for the questions. Keep the comments coming and I will try to answer as many as possible. And make sure you stay tuned to Network A so that you can catch the newest and latest, greatest episode of Turked next Tuesday.